straight up like outcast gave everybody else license to be a little weirder in pop they like they they like broke down the doors it's like amazing no radio station would play hey yeah in the states like no urban station like this is like a jangly guitar song and then like it got requests off the hooks and then like suddenly everyone can do it so like the trickle down of outcast through through frank ocean through kanye through everybody like they've literally like made pop music like a, sl a slightly more open place just by being brilliant and that's so cool like a stroke of genius using the smoky voice of miley on that it's it's actually kind of crazy i haven't listened to it in headphones in a really long time and maybe i listened to it like we've played it together um live and and i dj it to death but like holy shit like just listening to her voice i'm just like oh this is actually like i know it sounds bad to listen to your own song go this is actually really good but i can listen to that and be like that's a pretty good song. It's like, a pretty good song. Uh, and her, but her voice is like what really makes it. And uh, oh, it's like I was just listening. To it, like it actually like maybe I'm just like a tiny bit out of it, but it took me in my feelings. <laughs> Feel, Mark. We're in therapy. Remember, it's a safe space. There's also a word that I read that I never heard a term before that might be like an Aussie term that, that like boot scooting. Like when they were referring to the song, they were like the new boot scooting Mark Ronson, Miley Cyrus song. And I was like, I never, and I get what it means. It means like dancing in your cowboy boots, maybe yeah. line dancing. Disco Jolene. Yeah, bo boot scooting. I was like, oh, that's that's cool. Wasn't you know, it that song, boot scooting, baby, you drive me crazy, my, not in your uh, neck of the woods? No. Another one of my favorite songs of last year. I would often just bust out that um, chorus. Who wrote that top line? Uh, she it, did. She like came in and she was kind of just like on that chorus, like, she just kind of belted it out and we were all just like i mean of course we didn't know we we're onto something like super duper special but when she first sung that tell me something boy line all the hairs stood up and i had no idea it was going to be in the film either like we didn't know until bradley showed us the first cut and we we're like whoa it's like in the narrative like he's used the words like from the song and then in that scene in the parking lot that's so beautiful so just like hearing her voice like busting in that chorus like i just got like a jolt i was like i know i'm not i can't pretend like i'm moved by songs i worked on but i can't pretend i'm not moved by like her when she sings that what you mean this bit I'm of the deep watch as I dive in. all right so <laughs> We were rehearsing for the Grammys, and it, that that playing that guitar part is a bit outside my pay grade because like Lucas Nelson played it on the record, so I had to learn that pretty complicated finger picking thing. And like, I, I, hello, I'm a hip hop DJ from like New York City, so I'm playing this like thing, and I finally get after three days of rehearsing it just with the band, I can finally play it. And the only thing I haven't counted for is that when she actually comes in, what it's going to be like to like stand next to that voice as she's singing. So she busts into the chorus, and like my fingers just turned to like silly putty like it was so beautiful and powerful and like suddenly to be there in the room that it took a minute to like be able to hear her be moved by her voice and also not screw up what i was supposed to be doing this is why you're so good at what you do because you feel it all mark ronson what a joy to take five with you thank you for opening your record collection to us thank you uh